Hey guys, how are we doing? It's Mr. A2G. We are playing a brand new game today. Welcome to Frostborn. So guys, this is a brand new game that's just come out of a, a lengthy beta. I believe it's been a bit over six months as a closed beta. And now it's been opened up um, on the Google Play Store. Now, I don't believe it's on the iOS Store as of this minute. That may change. Hopefully you guys that are on Apple devices will be able to start playing this game soon enough. Um, but this is Frostborn from the developers from Kefir. Now you may have heard that name before. These guys have made uh, Last Day on Earth and have uh, co-developed with um, the good guys at Grim Soul who have made that game. So think of this as a combination of maybe the best of both worlds for both from both supporting games. But this has a heavy emphasis on multiplayer. So we're going to talk about that today. We're going to go through bits and pieces and what, you know, just to see what this game sort of, how it feels, what it, how it makes itself tick, all that sort of good stuff. And yeah, see if you guys actually enjoy the game. Now I know a ton of other people have already uploaded this game as well. Um, I wasn't able to do it uh, yesterday, unfortunately, work commitments. So that sort of delayed me from making it. Um, so I'm going to do it now. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, if you guys want um, me to make more of this series let me know by hitting that like button commenting down below if you guys are new to my channel make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button notification bell all that sort of good stuff anyway we're going to have a look at some of the um, the bits and pieces of the game so we'll start with the the little commands here that you can see in the left hand corner so what we've got is just you know a few things uh, little actions that you can do um, with your character, w whether it's in your zone, your family zone, which I'm going to get into the family side of things in a minute, um, or wherever it might be. And from here, you've got the ability to check out the your surrounding area. Now, this is my domain, as it would be. And then you'll see there's a little bit of a red zone over here, which I'm going to sort of explain that in a moment. Um, as it's more skewed to the multiplayer fashion, I'm going to explain exactly how that works. But this gives you a bit of a general overview. There are some en enemies on the map here as well. So you can see there's an enemy there. There's a wolf over there. So you more or less will have to sort of clear them out before, you know, you're pretty much safe around the zone. Uh, looks like there's a um, there's an elk or an elk, uh, antelope, whatever you want to call it, which is there. So we'll jump back out. And let's go into here. So basically, this is a um, what they call family. So the family representation is the clan sort of aspect to the game. So it's not a clan where you, you're going to have like 50, 20 people, 10 people in, inside a clan. You're only going to have yourself and three other people. So it's going to be a party of four. And this will basically give you guys the ability to naturally survive, but also uh, progress faster and further into the game if you're going to do a s single player run which is not something that you don't have to do you can play single player but you're going to get to a point in the game where it's going to say hey you're going to need to join up with some people you're going to need to be in a clan or a family in this case so you can progress further so this will this is going to strengthen you uh, you guys as well you guys will get raided and things like that throughout the game as well um, from what my understanding is that's going to be a thing further down the line if not it's already going to start um, as the game sort of progresses on with more pl um, people that are going to be jumping onto it um, playing all that sort of stuff so there is a very good um, uh, video that uh, JCF had actually made and I might go ahead and link that into the um, into the little card there. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and have a look at his video. Um, covers a lot of things across the board for everyone that's going to be a new beginner to the game. Um, even if you've played the game for a little bit now, it's probably a good idea to sort of jump back and have a look at that video anyway. So check it out. Anyway, so yeah, so this is going to be your clan domain where you can invite people um, so you can find a player specifically. And... Um, you'll be able to invite that person to join up with you and vice versa. Now, I'm guessing this is one of these things as well where, <clears throat> excuse me, that you can either stick with the with, with your clan mates 
or you might want to opt out and join up with someone else I, I'm guessing that's going to be a thing as well or you can remove people so you can swap people out you know inadvertently at any time uh, hence why you've got the plus signs here so once you get one person in you can invite someone else and someone else um, so on and so forth I'm guessing that's going to be the case um, I could be wrong on that but that's just my first impression on the game um, that's what I think anyway we're going to jump out of that quickly check out what we've got to start off with so literally we've got nothing to play with so I managed to kill uh, an enemy just before I just wanted to check it out to see what it sort of looked like uh, my guy's nearly hungry and thirsty at the same time I'll show you something in a minute anyway regarding that but we're gonna have to sort of do our best and craft up um, a backpack something to defend ourselves with a weapon and this is everything else um, that we can craft in the game so far so I believe not everything's in the game there's probably going to be your usual suspects that there's going to be certain items that are going to be blocked via the recipe that you're not going to be able to craft hence the, uh, it's not, not going to be in the game uh, so little things like that and as you can see my guy's already hungry so we're going to fix that up now so this is basically a little menu here that you've got right now uh, the equipment packs if you want to go ahead and be a pay to win player that's up to you guys um, and then you've got the experience buffs the coins and then finally the inbox so I'm gonna claim this and that and I'm gonna go ahead and whoop, we'll uh, use one and eat one and what's kind of cool with that as well is that naturally in a lot of games you do get the empty bottles but in this case when you're eating meat you get bones so that's kind of cool. So I'm guessing you're going to be using that in relation to um, pretty much storing things, or sorry, using uh, recipes and things like that. So yeah, very interesting. And then we've got these guys here to begin with, so which is kind of cool. So you got yourself a little bit of um, armor and things like that to start up with. So we're going to go ahead and, and equip and equip. And what is that? That is a throwing axe, blind scout, okay. Well, I'm just going to put that there, and I know I'm going to need rope, so I'm going to actually take that with me. Scrap iron won't need that, so I'm going to leave all that here with me, back in the chest. Pop that there, pop that there, and that, that'll be it. Now, a couple of little other things with the game as well is you're going to get the ability to um, cast spells, which is something unheard of to a game like this. So this is going to be so interesting once we unlock the skill. And you can see that there's a few little padlocks here above the um, uh, where the sword is. So eventually you're going to have that ability, hopefully further down the line. So what we're going to do is I'm going to sneak attack this wolf. Hopefully I don't get the attention I did of this guy here. So that's a, what we call a weak uh, dragoor, if I've pronounced that correctly. Dragoor, dragoor, I'm not too sure exactly how to pronounce that, but anyway. So we're going to have a bit of a quick time just to try and loot everything as well. Hopefully we may be able to have enough um, items um, from the enemies to uh, craft ourselves a backpack and we'll get into a zone and check out that as well. Now a lot of the basic zones that I've seen or that I've been um, that I've watched so far and witnessed, um, the green levels are going to be more PvP influence so that's going to be an interesting thing so i'm not too sure how to sort of take that but we'll see how we go for now and then here we've actually got a stable so we're going to have the ability to ride a horse so kind of like the whole on uh, the motorcycle aspect from last day on earth carried over here the horse from grim soul very similar aspect there so there's quite a bit of things that you'll have to obtain to try and get your horse um uh, ready to go so Right now, I think I might have everything I need. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look. I do. So we'll, we'll activate that skill, we'll learn it, and let's go ahead and craft it. Perfect. So now at least I've got a backpack so I can carry more items. I'm going to go ahead and learn that for now. These two are already pre-learned so I don't need to worry about it. And I might just do that. And for now, we'll do that. So it just sort of caps off everything. And you can reset the skill um, skill points as well, which is a good thing. Okay, so I'm going to dump some of these. We're going to head out into a zone. We'll check it out and, yeah, see what it's all about. 
Let's put these away. Let's equip that. For now, I won't need that. I might just take the meat just in case. So try to work out this. Oh yeah, also, if you want your, once you've created a family and you guys want to share or have a communal chest, you can hit the family access button and not and this will be accessible to your family as well not just a private chest for yourself but we're going to turn that off for now and let us run out into a zone must admit it's not the fastest and i'm guessing that's going to be yeah something <coughs> <coughs> that hopefully something change once um you know you get like uh, footwear and things like that available to you to craft okay so this is your overworld here so it looks like you've got the treasury here, so it will be available to attack in 80 days. Okay, so I'm guessing it's going to be some sort of event. Uh, stone fangs, visit closer locations first. So it looks like they're accessible. So the more that you move around the map, it's going to expose that. And then you've got an unknown settlement here. So this is a player's base, and I believe this is an actual player's base, not a um, like a carbon copy, which is, yeah, interesting. Then you've got the, the gates here. So only past the lands of, uh, of the frost giants. Okay. And then, okay, right. And you've got another player base here. And as we sort of move down further, there's all a player base here. Now these that I can see, these are all on countdown timers so that they, they do refresh automatically. So you're not always going to be stuck with the same camp if you've raided it. So. Um, just something else to keep in mind if you decide to raid it or you think you need to raid it then definitely go ahead and do it if not um, Obviously you don't touch it and it'll refresh and respawn into someone else So the two basic zones that we've got to work with for now is you've got uh, the Forest of the Wolves Whisper and you've got the uh, Belders Cliffs. So we're gonna go to the forest We we'll use a bit of our energy to run across Now also there uh, PvP style dungeons and maps as well that you guys can visit so there there are other things um, that you guys will be able to do with your clan mates so you guys can um, run into that particular zone and jump it down into I believe it's like a little like a like a little shaft or or something or other for you guys to jump down and um, yeah and complete the quest it's like a crypt if you will and yeah so definitely go ahead and check it out if you guys are going to be doing that with not just one person but you know more than uh more than two people would probably be the safest thing and yeah so these green zones you do have a higher chance and risk of meeting other players now i'm not too sure if that's activated from the get-go from the very beginning if so then um the the emphasis on you know teaming up with people is over um just that more greater that you have to do something like that fairly soon in game so for now i'll see how i go on my own um, and i'm gonna jump onto the uh discord community server with this i'll link all that in in the description i believe i've got a um a link to the facebook page as well so i'll also link that to you, for you guys as well so you guys can definitely check it out and oh there you go see there's someone there so they're going to be running. I'm not going to attack the person or anything like that, but... Ooh, okay. So he... Okay. And he's going to... He's just running past. So, And that's another thing too. If you've got a player or if you're trying to um, take down someone, you can... Well, they can basically run past you. And if you're not watching or if you're not... Um, uh, you know, self-aware of what's going around, uh, you know, around your surroundings. They'll run right past you. Those enemies that were chasing that person, they're going to be attacking you because you're the closest person. So that's something else to keep in mind. So that's something that you definitely want to sort of um, just be careful as well. And you can do the exact same thing to that person as well. So um, if we run out of the zone, you've got to stop to exit and it's going to take about five seconds for you to leave and hopefully you don't get attacked which I just I was just lucky to get out of there alive. So yeah, definitely just keep that in mind as well. Um, so you can more or less re-enter back into that zone. Because I've visited this area, it does open up some other areas as well. That's an army camp there, so the battle card is required. So obviously we can't get that. 
and then you've got these higher zones so predominantly you may not want to jump into these right away um, you probably just want to try and do your best and farm these zones here and you've got to be strategic so this is something that we've never had a witness in a survival uh, mobile style game so especially when you've got the element of um, other players as well running into the zone so you've got to be very 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 careful um, but you can also do other things as well to sneak up on um, unsus uh, unsuspecting um, uh, players so you can actually go ahead and if you find some bushes you can crouch oh, okay might have to and hopefully I don't tie I'm going to quickly heal. Okay, and it's heal over time by the looks of things as well. So I'm not too sure if there's going to be any other um, uh, food elements or healing elements that will um, uh, heal up instantaneously. I'm not too sure about that, but for now we'll just sort of work with what we've got. So this is what I wanted to sort of uh, reference here. So if you go into here, you can actually move in the bushes. And you see that your player sort of gets invisible as well. If you want to crouch, you can. But if you sit there, they won't see you. If a player runs past, they're not going to see you. Enemies will see you. The ones that are already preloaded on the map, I believe, will see you. So you're just going to be careful with that. But otherwise, um, you can more or less sneak around. There's another player there that he's, um, he's naturally trying to get a few things for himself. I'm going to go ahead and open up this chest anyway just to see what's there. So I've got him. He's just there. I'm just going to be careful. Okay, if I'm just going to say, I'm just going to give him a hi. Hopefully he's okay. He's not going to, you know, do anything to me. So he's just going to go ahead and continue to um, take down uh, trees and whatnot. So, and then as you can see, there's more other people there. So I'm just going to give him another hearty hello. And hopefully he leaves me. Follow you. Okay. So at least that way, you sort of make that little, that initial camaraderie with someone there before you, you know, if you want to engage, you, you go ahead and, and engage and things like that. So I guess that's kind of cool. So you can see a little message bubble there. So it's going to send me a message, I'm guessing. So that's all well and good. Um, but yeah, guys, this is basically a bit of a brief run through. So he's saying, give me weapons, please. I don't have weapons. Sorry. <laughs> Not weapons that I'm going to give you, that's that's for sure. But that's just basically what you can do with the game so far. And probably a good thing to do with this is you've got to pick your battles, okay, guys? So you're not going to have to... Well, you shouldn't be running into a zone and, um, you know, expect to sort of get anything and everything. I've just learned the new spell, which is Firebolt. Can I add that now? Equipped. All right, so... We're going to check this out. I want to check out how Firebolt works. And then we'll probably go ahead and leave it for today's video. And yeah, let's see. All right, so Fireball. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. So it's a nice little ranged attack. Why not? I'll just quickly grab some of this as I'm running around. And I'm just going to sort of dart around. And you've got to be careful as well because you don't know if there's going to be a... Um, you know, a clan that's already been formed and they're going to run in and sort of sweep the place plus killing you guys and whoever else is going to be in the zone at the same time. But anyway, I'm going to jump out. Okay, so we'll leave. And I should be able to get out without any problems anyway. Perfect. So, yeah, this is um, Frostborn, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. If you guys want me to... Con you continue making more videos of this let me know as well hit the like button i want to make sure that you guys are going to be interested and engaged with the game um so yeah do your best hit the like button if you guys are new make sure you hit the subscribe button notification bell all that sort of good stuff comment down below with everything else all right guys take it easy i will catch you next time